Hello, friends. I'm Miss Natalie, and I'm here at Westlake Porter Public Library, and this is story time. Um, I know that I miss seeing you here at the library for story time, and I miss going to your schools and seeing you there, but isn't it nice that we can all be together um, this way and share stories and songs and rhymes? We're going to get started with our ABCs to have some practice and to let everyone get in here and join us and get comfortable and ready for some stories, okay? So whenever you're ready, you can start with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, please sing with me. Oh, did you sing with me this time? Great. Thank you. You did an awesome job. And now that all of our friends are here and we're all together, let's do our hello song. Okay. It's a lot of fun because there's some things that we can participate and all do together. Are you ready? It goes like this. Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? I love you today. If you like the color red, pat your head. Pat your head. Good job. If you like the color blue, tap your shoe. Tap your shoe. If you like the color green, pat your knees. Can you see my knees? Pat them. I love you today. Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? I love you today. This part's fun. If you like dinosaurs, let me hear you roar. Roar! Wow, that was scary! If you like ice cream, say yum. Ooh, I like ice cream. If you like rocket ships, blast off. I love you today. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? I love you today. Oh, and I do, and I love when you sing and do all these fun things with me. That's awesome. Thank you, friends. Well, our first story is called A Peaceful Garden. A Peaceful Garden was written by Lucy London. The pictures were done by Krista Pierce. And we're reading it today um, with permission and thanks to Harper Collins. A peaceful garden. Have you ever had a garden or maybe planted some seeds at school? To grow a peaceful garden, wait for the last frost. Just kiss the cold goodbye. Dig yourself a patch. Soft soil is best, no clumps. And check on the sun. Make sure it's still there. Your garden will need it. You can look out the window every day and see if you see the sun or the clouds or the rain and tell your grown-ups what the weather's like. Do you have a garden hat? 
How about a rake? And a bucket for all the things you'll grow. A peaceful garden is for growing many things you might want to eat. So it's time to choose some seeds. Did you know foods grow in the ground? Do you like carrots? Big tops are nice. Easy peasy peas. Do you like peas? They'll need a wee, which means little, pea fence. Lettuces are lovely. Do you think? Carrots, peas, and lettuces are all vegetables and they all grow in the ground. A peaceful garden is also for growing many things that others might want to eat. Bees love daisies. So do butterflies. Would you like to invite some blackbirds? Then plant an invitation. Sunflowers! You can dig small holes now and ploop, ploop, ploop go the seeds. Very nice! Little paws can tuck them in. Don't forget what is where. Small signs are good. Do you see this sign? It says carrots, so everyone remembers where the carrots were planted. Now what? Water. Gentle showers are best. You can give yourself one if you like. Water, 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 every day, except the rainy days. Water is important for growing things. You could also fill up a little saucer for the bees. A few rocks will help them to not fall in. A saucer is a little dish. You could put a little water in it and bees will drink from it and a bath for the birds. This will make your garden even more peaceful, especially in the morning. What a pretty patch you've made. You've given your peaceful garden everything that it needs to grow. And now you and the bees and the birds and the rabbits can all wait together. For your feast. A feast is a big meal. When you pick everything from your garden when it's ready, that's a harvest, and you can feast or eat a big meal with all your friends. Thank you, friends, for sharing a peaceful garden with me, and thank you, Harper Collins, for allowing us to. I'm sure most of you remember the song, The Wheels on the Bus. Remember it? They go round and round. Well, we're going to do a version of that song, but it's going to be about a garden, okay? And it's a good time to move and to use our hands, okay? All right, friends. The seeds in the soil go in the ground, in the ground, in the ground. The seeds in the soil go in the ground. How will our garden grow? The rain from the clouds goes drip, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop. 
drip, drip, drop. The rain from the clouds goes drip, drip, drop. How will our garden grow? The sun in the sky is bright and hot, bright and hot, bright and hot. The sun in the sky is bright and hot. How will our garden grow? The little seeds are sprouting fast, sprouting fast, sprouting fast. The little seeds are sprouting fast. Look, our garden grew. <laughs> Great job, everyone. There were some good stretches in there too, weren't there? That was a lot of fun. Grown-ups, you can always do those too. Our next book is called Plant the Tiny Seed. This book is written by, and the pictures are done by Christy Matheson. And uh, we are reading this um, with um, permission from Harper Collins. So thank you, Harper Collins. There's a lot here for us to do together to make this book work. It might be hard to see on camera, but there's the tiniest seed on this page. There's magic in a tiny seed. Press it down and count to three. So press with your finger and count. One, two, three. Plant another then one more, press them down and count to four. One, two, three, four. Wiggle your fingers to add some water. That's enough. Now rub the sun to make it hotter. Did you know when you rub your hands together, they get hotter too? Rub them together and make them hotter. Good job. Tap the cloud and wish for rain. Okay, let's reach out and tap and make a wish. Tap. It worked! Look at the rain. Clap to bring the sun again. the worm. Look for his tail. Can you see the worm? He's right here. Can you make your finger look like a worm? Shoo away the hungry snail. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Tell the little bud, good night, good night. Can you guess what you'll see in the morning light? If a bud is a baby flower, <gasps> wow! Now point to the purple flower. Can you see it? Point to it. Buzz. What's buzzing in the picture? Oh, the bees. Tap the cloud again. Tap it. Did you tap it?
it's another rain shower. Touch the blossoms gently, please. How would you touch a gentle blossom? Just like patting a cat, gentle, or a baby, or the hand of someone you love, gentle pat. Just like that. Ooh, now jiggle the plants to scatter the seeds. Can you jiggle with me? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Good job, you really jiggled. The purple flower needs a clip. Swipe the stem and go snip, snip. Can you make your fingers look like some scissors and go snip, 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 snip. Just like that. Snip, snip, great. Close your eyes and wave your hands in the air. Ready? Close your eyes and wave your hands in the air. Your eyes are open. Close them up. Oh, everyone, look what I did. Look. There's magic everywhere. Great job, everyone. That's a fun book. There's lots of things to see and to do. Thank you again to Harper Collins for allowing us to have fun with Plant the Tiny Seed. No, we just moved a lot and had some fun, but I've got a fun little finger play for us about how flowers grow. Let's see. Here is a green leaf. And here is a green leaf. That makes two. One, two. Here's a bud. And that makes a flower just for you. Want to do it again? Here's a green leaf. And here's a green leaf. That makes two. One and two. Here's a bud. Sort of put your fingers together. And that makes a flower just for you. Good job. So um, I have a friend who's a farmer and my friend grows vegetables. And one vegetable she grew is called okra. Have you ever heard of okra? It's a long green vegetable um, it can be short, it can be other colors too, like purple, and uh, it can sometimes have a silly name called lady fingers. Isn't that silly? It doesn't really look like a finger, maybe like a long nose. Um, and I know this one's not really green, but that's because it dried, and it dried with okra seeds inside of it. And okra seeds inside of an okra pod make a shaker. Maybe you can hear it. Other vegetables do this too. Gourds, um, like pumpkin um, and acorn squashes, ornamental squashes, calabazas, they can also dry and become shakers too. And if you come to the library for story time or if I go out to your classroom for story time, I bet you're missing our shaker eggs right now. Um, I know I am. But seeing this okra shaker that my friend grew reminded me, 
many things around our house can make a shaky sound. This is a container that some food came in. I washed it out and I put some peppercorns in it. It seals and it can shake. Maybe a grown-up could help you do that. This is a bottle that a drink came in and I washed it out and I put some coins in it. I put the lid on it and it makes a shaky sound. It's a different shaky sound than this, but they're both shaky sounds and maybe a grown-up could help you do that. I also found some colorful decorative eggs. Maybe you use these for egg hunts or for holiday decorations and you can fill them up with different things. I put some pennies in this one and it shakes just like our shaky eggs do. And they all make a nice shaky sound. I'm going to sing a shaky song and you can sing it with me. Um, right now, if you don't have something that shakes, you can shake your fingers, shake your hands, okay? You could clap if you like, okay? So um, we're going to shake this, okay? Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? It's as easy as can be. Let's shake high. Shake it high up with me, up with me, up with me. Shake it high up with me. It's as easy as can be. Just put your arms up high if you don't have a shaker. Show me what high looks like. Good. Let's shake low. Can you shake it low with me? Low with me, low with me. Can you shake it low with me? It's as easy as can be. Again, shake your arms low. Show me what low looks like. Good. Now we're gonna do it fast. Can you shake it fast with me, fast with me, fast with me? Can you shake it fast with me? It's as easy as can be. Okay, shake fast. Good job. Now slow. Can you shake it slow with me, slow with me? me, slow with me. Can you shake it slow with me? It's as easy as can be. All right, and then we'll start with the first, we'll finish with the first one again. Can you shake Along with me, along with me, along with me. Can you shake along with me? It's as easy as can be. Oh, that was fun! See, we can still have fun even without our shaker eggs. Great job. And remember to ask your grown-ups if you need help making a shaker. Well, this was a very nice time together, my friends. So we're going to finish with our affirmations and our goodbye song, okay? So for affirmations, um, repeat after me my words and my motions. I am great. I am great. I am smart. I am I am strong. I am strong. I am loved. I am loved. Today
Today is an awesome day. You can jump when you say this one. Today is an awesome day. It sure is an awesome day. Before we do our goodbye song, just a reminder, grown-ups, um, keep an eye on our website and our social media, especially Facebook, for more story times and updates about the library. Thank you, friends, for joining me. Now our goodbye song. Wave high, wave low, because it's time, we gotta go. Wave your fingers, wave your toes, wave your bottom, wave your nose, wave like this, wave like that, wave like that, wave like this, wave your hands, and blow a kiss. Thanks, friends. Goodbye.